This is the CSU Pueblo University Library Quick Class on how to cite in APA style. So why is this worth knowing? Well, APA is a very common citation style that's used in several disciplines. If you use the style incorrectly, however, it can lead to unintentional plagiarism. And although it can be confusing, once you know how to cite an APA, it'll save you time when you're writing. This class answers three questions, as well as provides some examples of APA citation. The first question is, why do we cite? The second is, when do we cite? And the third is, where do we cite? First, why do we cite? For one, it adds credibility to your argument by saying others agree with you. Second, you want to acknowledge those other people and give them credit for their work. Finally, citations help your readers find the original source if they're interested in learning more. As for when do we cite, it's done whenever we include words from another source, this is called quoting, as well as when we include someone else's ideas, this is referred to as paraphrasing. And then, where do we cite? An in-text citation should include the author's last name, the year that the source was published, and a page number if applicable. There's also a reference list at the end of your document, which should include the full publication information for everything that you've cited. Next, we'll look at some examples of APA citations and explain them. Just remember that the definitive source for citation is the APA Style Manual, which is available in the library. The examples we'll be looking at include in-text citations, articles in a reference list, and books in a reference list. First, in-text citations. In-text citations should include the author's last name, the year the source was published, and a page number if you're citing a specific part of the larger work. If you're summarizing the entire source, however, you do not need to include a page number. You also don't need to include an author's name twice, so if you reference them by name in your text, you do not need to include their name again in the parentheses. Articles in your reference list should include the last name of the author and only their first initials, not their full name. As for the article title, you should capitalize only the first word of the article, as well as the first word in the subtitle, and any proper nouns. Journal titles should be capitalized and in italics. The volume number is also in italics, and the issue number should be in parentheses. The article citation should end with a Digital Object Identifier, or DOI. Now, it's worth noting that not every article has a DOI, so if it doesn't have one, you don't need to include that in your citation. As for books in your reference list, they're similar to articles in that you should include the author's last name, then only their first initials. The title of the book should be in italics, but you should only capitalize the first word in the title, the first word in the subtitle, and any proper nouns. After the title, include the publishing city, as well as an abbreviation of the state. And the last element in the citation is the name of the publisher. This has been just a quick introduction to APA citation, so if you have any questions, we strongly encourage you to consult the APA Style Manual or ask a librarian.